Welcome to Seeds Growing with God. Whether you are a Christian or have never met Jesus Christ, the best time for you to grow with God is now. Let's go on this journey together from Genesis to Revelations to reveal the blessings in God's Word for all of us. In this message, we will explore the question of, Jesus, can I get a do-over? I'm sure we've all had those moments where we wanted a second or even a third chance at something we didn't get right. The interception you threw that lost the big game, the bet you lost you should have never made, your score on a test, and the list can go on and on. We all never want to make mistakes, especially in our life as children of God. So can you get a do-over? Have you ever said this to yourself? Oh, I wish I could have another chance to do that again. I would do it so much better. Don't fool yourself. We all have said this to ourselves many times. Why? Because we all want to be better than we are, even if we don't know why. That is proof alone that God is born inside of all of us. We are gifted as humans to want to be the best people we can since we were God's creation after all. Why would God ever accept anything less from his children? He only has the best for you when you come to him. You should know that the feeling of striving for perfection is from God. He always wants you to do things right the first time. That is why he has created a clear path for you to follow through Jesus so you never have to ask yourself that question. So you would never be lost or have regrets as long as you are saved and live by the Word of God. God will meet you anywhere at any time, even when you are dying, as He did the criminals on the cross next to Him. Do you remember the two men who were crucified with Jesus? They were criminals of the worst sort, deserving death for their crimes. One of them bitterly mocked Jesus and refused to believe in Him. But the other turned to him in faith and asked Jesus to save him. He was near death, but Jesus replied, Truly I tell you, today you will be with me in paradise. Luke 23:43. As we can see, this was truly a deathbed conversation, but God in his grace still saved him after everything he had done to sin against him. Don't come to the wrong conclusion about this. Yes, God can save us even at the last minute. But how do we even know we will even have a last minute? A sudden accident, an unexpected heart attack, mental disabilities start setting in. Hundreds of other things could keep us from turning to Christ and make it too late to get our do-over. As we mentioned, God will meet you anywhere at any time, even when you're dying. But realize, this is not an invitation for you to wait until you're in your physical deathbed to call out to Him. As soon as you can comprehend and understand, you are to repent of the sins that you were born into. Then, you are to ask to be saved at that moment. God has created this path for everyone, even infants and those with mental disabilities. God would never leave anyone out and it is not our job to understand what he can do and how he does it, but only to follow his instructions as a child would with his father. God has already prepared a place for you when you come to him and continually adds to it as he sees you follow his word and do as his son has done for you. Listen, everyone can get on a plane and they are all on it. But some are in first class and enjoying all the blessings for doing as God instructed them to meet Him in heaven, while others are in the very back seat, squashed in the middle. Now we are all on the plane, just as we all will be in heaven together that are saved. But just like with the plane, based on your life according to the Word of God, you could have a first class seat or be stuck in the very last seat in the middle. No matter what or where your seat is, it's still a ticket for you to get into heaven. It's all up to you. Do you want all the blessings of life here and in heaven as a child of God? Or do you want to suffer and anguish as you make your way through a world of sin that only ends up in your death and bypassing eternal life? 
If you want to get a do-over and be born new again, then just ask Jesus to forgive you of your sins, save you, and acknowledge Him as the Lord and Savior of your life. He is always patiently waiting on you. Live by the Word of God in all that you do and show others the way home just as you were shown. Pay attention. Don't miss this. You must take the first step before it's too late. Yes, there is a point where it is too late to be saved, and that is after your physical death. Without your physical body, you cannot be born new again. Just as God used the death of Jesus' physical body to pay the price for your sins at his death, without the death of the physical body of Jesus, he could not have done this. Can a sinner repent and be saved after death? The answer is no. And there are several passages of scriptures that are clear about that. It is appointed for a man to die once, and after that comes judgment. Hebrews 9.27 The scripture expresses that upon your death you should expect immediate judgment and not search for any place where you can get a do-over since it does not exist. So we now know and understand that one of the Bible's greatest truths is that God is willing to forgive us completely even at the last minute. If you truly commit your life to Christ and trust in Him for your salvation, you can be sure then you will be saved with Jesus forever. You must come to the conclusion of urgency that you need to do the same thing as Jesus did by dying on the cross in your former self and leaving your past and everything you were behind you so you can be born new again and get that do-over for your guarantee of eternal life and every blessing that comes with it. It is important to know it does not matter who you are. God has made his word so every person can understand it. By doing so, people who resist will have no second chance and an expressway to judgment. I pray to see you in heaven and that judgment does not become your ending. As a final thought, just think about all the years you may have wasted, years you could have lived for Christ and known the joy of His presence. If you've never committed your life to Christ, I urge you to do so today, before it's too late. The Bible says, Now is the day of salvation. 2 Corinthians 6.2 I believe it is yours, right now. He is calling out for you to come home. Just as a father that loves his child and has a heart of protection over them does because they were his creation and a miracle. One of the most important commitments you can make as a Christian is to read your Bible every day. In each message, we will provide you with a few scriptures to look up and read on your own to plant seeds inside of you for a deeper understanding so you can grow closer to Jesus Christ through His written Word. It's time to get your Bible for your Growing with God scriptures for the message Jesus, can I get a do-over? And they are Luke 9:59 to 62, 2 Corinthians 5:10, and Acts 16:25 to 33. I pray that this message creates a path for you to grow closer to Jesus Christ or meet Him for the very first time. If you want to receive the guaranteed passage that He has sacrificed Himself on the cross for you to have to be saved as a child of God, then become who you are created to be and turn the words you read in the Bible into action. Now so you can have eternal life in the kingdom of heaven that is just waiting for you. Get your copy today of Seeds Growing with God at Amazon.com, your local bookstores, Trilogy.tv, and online worldwide. Thank you and stay blessed.